Tawo Dumoso had an interview with one of the correspondents in Punch newspaper. And it is quite revealing. You know, a lot of times, things about this legal team I heard from Baba's side. Maybe one blogger says it, or the lead blogger says it, or the other ones echo it, and all of that. But this time around, it is in a formal interview with Punch and Taiwo Odumusu. Now, I'm going to take the questions and, of course, his response. It's been about a year since the investigation into Muba's death began. Can you provide an update on the status of the probe? Then he responded, Presently, we are approaching the issue from different angles. The second autopsy and toxicology test is being conducted as directed by the court. We hope this will shed more light on the circumstances leading to the why of Mobad. Presently, the specimen has been taken abroad by forensic experts for the toxicology examination. Given the controversy generated by the first autopsy, the forensic experts in their professional estimation believe the laboratory in Europe would be better. So they avoided the USA altogether. The DNA test too. When we brought preliminary objection on some flimsy grounds, we have argued the object, objections and the ruling is reserved by the court for 18th October 2024. Now, the interviewer asked, with the controversy on the outcome of the first autopsy, how has the independent autopsy by the family fared? Hmm. Odum also responded, getting pathologists to attend to the matter was a bit tough. We got in touch with four pathologists, one from Kaduna, another from Eduguri, and one other place. But they said powerful individuals were interested in the matter and declined to take it on. We also consulted those in America. However, because of the controversy trailing the first autopsy, we decided to boycott America altogether. For those who agree to help us now, we thank them. The way to justice is always strewn with thorns, but we have the firm belief we shall get there. The interviewer asked again, Why the choice of a forensic pathologist in the northern region? Pathologist and responded, We don't want anybody to compromise the process. We suspected that the delay of transferring the previous specimen to America took a long time. We also suspected government intervention and institutional laxity on the part of the police. So we decided to look elsewhere to do what we wanted, but we eventually got somebody. What are the key challenges the legal team has faced in seeking justice for his family? The interviewer asked. Pastor Odumosu Desawipe, the biggest challenge we have had so far is from the Nigerian police. Apart from the shoddy investigation that is clear even to the novice, they have refused to cooperate with us on certain levels. It is an open secret that the court granted the Aloba family an order to conduct another autopsy and toxicology test after the government-assisted toxicology test led to inconclusiveness. We sent a letter to the police informing them of the order of the courts and the need for them to release documents and exhibits to the forensic experts. They didn't acknowledge nor release the documents to the forensic pathologist. We sent a reminder to them and still they ignored it. This sort of attitude does not commend the police to the populace. Then the question again says, The exact time Mubad died had been one of the subjects of controversies that trailed the late singer's passing. As the legal team looked into this, then Kayode responded, saying, The facts and information presented so far seem to cast doubt as to the exact time of Mubad's passing. From a logical point of view, the time frame given by those who spoke after his spy and what the deceased partner's sister said seemed to suggest that he could not have spied on the day presented to the police or the corona court. It is one of the issues we propose to the pathologist to solve for us. We also expect the police to shed more light on this if indeed the investigating police officer did a thorough job. 
If you buy the day it was buried, there wouldn't be any need for traditional embalming. So we look forward to getting an answer to the time you pied to. Another question. How has the investigation's progress impacted the family's decision to lay Moba to rest? And the respondent saying, The investigation has been very slow. And the bulk of the burden rests with the police. We do not know whose interests they are protecting. We are tempted to get private investigators. The three experts we got on different occasions declined to take on the investigative job. The, first, the fourth one attempted to take it. He consulted with some of his colleagues, who are also experts in the detection of Ineos crimes. But they told him that those behind the pie of the late singer were powerful people, and they wouldn't want to intervene in the matter. However, the decision to bury the late singer rests solely with the Aloba family. If the family decides to bury him today, the decision is theirs. And as I've said, the reason they didn't bury him was because of the need for a second autopsy and toxicology test. <laughs> then, the interviewer asks another question. Are there concerns about the so-called powerful individuals being the second time you mentioned it? And Barry Sakari said, So far, we have been engaging the instrumentality of the law to get to the root of the case. I do not think we need to fear. For the private investigators who decline to work, they have their own procedures which I am ignorant of. I am not an investigator. Remember when Delegiwa died? The late Chief Ganifa Emi did all that he could through the peripheral areas of the law. And at a point we saw the frustration put on his way by the then officials in power. Notwithstanding, he made his point. We too will try our best to get to the root of the case. To that end, the more some key witnesses are being shielded from appearing before the coroner court, the more we are convinced they have more information to give to the court. Nurse Ogedengbe, the IPO who has been invited more than six times by the court, but has taken to his heels. Mm. All of them need to appear before the court and tell us what they know. You'll be wondering why the police officer who investigated a matter suddenly developed cold feet to appear to answer simple questions about the investigation he carried out. Another question from the interviewer. People had wondered why the family was so particular about the DNA test when the cause of mobile spy was yet to be unraveled. What is your take on this? Hmm. Barista Udumosu responded. In a homicide case... You don't overlook vital issues. While we are not saying Mubad died as a result of his doubt about the paternity of the baby, we should not close our eyes to the potentiality of such a source too. Mubad's father said he wanted a DNA test. He must have his reasons. And looking at the generality of the circumstances of the pie, it is worth the while to see if motive could be deduced from such an angle. It is a logical action to take. Apart from this, if those being suspected really took part in the murder of the deceased, it's a legal principle that from a dishonorable cause, no action arises. In Latin maxim, it means ex topi cosa non orito axio. An individual must be prevented from benefiting from their own wrongdoing. Hmm. Under, in, under inheritance law, the concept of the slayer rule applies. This boy beats a person who unlawfully kills another from inheriting the victims. So it is reasonable for the Aloba family to look at the issues broadly in order not to deprive an innocent person of his or her dues. Another question. So we pray. The court had issued a substituted service on Naramali Samlari, the nurse said to have treated him, and a host of others. What was the next step to ensure they appear in court? Barista Odumosu Sawikwe, in Lagos State, a witness summoned to appear before a coroner's court cannot legally refuse to appear without justifiable cause. The Coroner System Law of Lagos State 2007 governs coroner's inquest and related matters in Lagos State, including the summoning of witnesses. Under Section 35 of the Coroner System Law of Lagos State 2007, a person who has been duly summoned as a witness is legally obligated to
to attend the inquest. If the witness refuses to appear without a lawful excuse, the coroner has the authority to take further action to ensure compliance. If a witness fails to appear after being summoned, the coroner may issue a criminal summons or which compels the witness to attend the court. Failure to obey such summons may result in the witness being held in contempt of court, which can lead to fines or imprisonment. Specifically, Section 36 of the law empowers the coroner to issue a warrant of arrest to compel, compel the appearance of the witness if they ignore the summons. I can assure you that we will not hesitate to pursue the case this course, if the witnesses whose names were widely published in the newspaper and social media outlet refused to attend the coroner's courts. I want to do another question. The lawyer, Moni, what are the family's primary concerns regarding the investigation and its outcome? Lawyer, what down we pay? The primary concern of the family is to get justice. And as you know, not just the family, even the general public are interested in ensuring justice for the late singer. May I use this opportunity to thank everyone who has supported the family and contributed money to ensure that we get justice in this case? The road to justice has been tortuous. However, we are sure we will get to the destination. All those concerned, those who are accessories before and after the act in the case, shall be brought to book. The policemen who compromised and spiked their oath of office shall all be brought to book. Interview at Mbele we pay. What does the legal team believe is necessary for justice to be served in this case? Lawyer Wadaw Wikwe. First, we are not satisfied with the conduct of the police. The investigation they conducted was shoddy, lacked thoroughness, was unprofessional, compromising, and skewed in favor of those who are supposed to be behind bars in the unfortunate circumstances of this case. All those present in the house when the incident happened should be under interrogation. But the police picked just a few people, interrogated them, kept them in the cell, and grudgingly released them on administrative bail, when those who should still be behind bars were busy gallivanting on the streets. The police pretended to be doing a yeoman's job, and there was nothing to show for it. Who is deceiving who? In their press conference, they gave a preliminary report. Where is the main report? We wrote petition against Buluwati Fayade Yemo Darosha for carrying out an embalment on the late Ilerio Lua promise Aloba, all the parties involved were interrogated and statements were taken. Up to today, the police have yet to charge anyone in court. The police are therefore not helpful in the circumstances of this case. Then, the last question. What are the next steps in the legal process? The lawyer responded. Well, we are expecting the results of the toxicology test now taken out for examination. Along with this will come the autopsy results. We are also looking forward to the DNA test. The result of this will also be revealing and may be able to assuage the interest of not just the family, but also the listening public who are eager to know the truth that may come out of the DNA test. Hmm. So that's it for reference purpose. This um, interview took place on Thursday, 12th September, 2024. Mm. Um, one yet. inquest took place on the 11th of September. We need to be dating this because you know this Mubast case. Seriously. Mm. So, you are more updated so you can make Because if you've been listening to Baba's team, on my own family good team, you water water. We pay one shin. Koko koko. Kita lotti charge is the courts. Though yeah, petition was the petition Darusha, and I think there was one other person the petition at one time. But who have they charged? According to one interview, Tiba Baba attend by Lu Niori Arise TV. I remember, um, respected journalist Ruben Abati asked about to say, okay, in all of this, who have you sued? Who have you charged to court? And Abati said, no, nobody. And like, okay, what is all the noise about? So, oh, le no mobile. I drop comments or see comment section. Mm. 
Iriu.